Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Autofocus World, the test drive. I'm Tony Lassane. This is one of the coolest designed vehicles out here. It's beautiful and it's awesome. This is the Lexus NX350 2022. I'm gonna give you some reasons why it separates itself from the pack, take it through its paces. Are you ready? Let's go. And let's get to this exterior design. The exterior design front, it is gorgeous. Let's look at this grill. It is bold and domineering. Okay, so you can see that the hood has this raised area right here. Aerodynamics, it looks cool. Everything swings right towards that front, pushing everything toward this thick, bold, Grill. This is the F Sport. So when you get the F Sport, you get this trim, black on black, these beautiful headlights with the LED here, nice trim, zigzags around the top, black gloss around here, little side light right there. You have a recession here on these headlights that give it a real cool design cue. And that's what I really like is these designs. Lower indentations, vertical lines running in here, down at the bottom, a lower fog light, okay? You've got your Lexus logo right here in the front with your radar, and I just like the way these designs come out, keeping the Lexus DNA consistent. Then over the side, you have this indentation here, really nice, lower black gloss here, lower shiny chrome at the lip spoiler. That's a beautiful front, I like it, and let's go to the side. Right here, the front, protrudes right on out, real sporty like, sports car looking, and here's the side headlights coming right here, wheel well, don't forget that front spoiler, you can see it from the side, that wheel well, 20 inch F Sport wheels right here, nice and fat, lots of traction, F Sport badging, moving on back, you can see the arch of the side, and up here the F Sport black gloss on the roof rails, nice glossy tinting right here, Gloss in the middle. Right here on the handles, you can see gloss right there. Right here, red and black. Love red and black, it's a Kappa thing, you know. But the black is a style thing. Down here, you can see what looks like a trim here. That black trim protects the bottom as well. Wheel wells swell out. Here's your gas tank. Coming on back here, we've got the roof spoiler. Indentations, black gloss, black gloss here. Nice side tail lights here, lower indentation here, and you can see the lower rear spoiler with some nice chrome at the bottom. I think it is cool. So let's go top down. You can see you've got this roof spoiler. It's red on black trim with a red light right in the middle. You can see the black gloss on either side, nice and dark rear windshield, wipers right there. There, your border right there with a strip separating it and you see these elegantly lined tail lights. Now guys, we enjoy bringing you out on location, on the scene, real time reviews. And what makes these vehicles special? If you like it, if it's your first time visiting, please be sure to take a moment to subscribe, hit the bell for future shows and notifications. Of course, you can also like, Leave a comment and share. Follow us on all the social medias. Let's get to the show and let's get to this exterior design. But first, a quick message from our supporter. Become a Miami Art Globetrotter. Find artwork inspired by Africa, the Caribbean, Latin America, and around the world at Art of Black Miami. Brought to you by the Greater Miami Conventions and Visitors Bureau. All right, guys, we're going to break down the interior of the gorgeous Lexus NX350 F-Sport. Okay, so let's start right here on the door, all right? You can see these wing designs right here. Really nice touch here. Mark Levinson sound system. One of the best in the business, right there, right in the door. All right, let's swing around and you can see speakers up here. All right, we're on the left side of the driver area. You can see air vents, all right? And one of the things you're gonna see consistently through the cockpit area is this black gloss right here, circling right here. And it kind of goes in right there, 
right where you see the driver cluster area and you see it pick up on the other side, there's the start engine button right there. And then as I pull away, you can see that the whole design comes together with this huge infotainment system right here. Beautiful, just dominating the dash. All your information is packed here, not only about your infotainment, but also about the vehicle, the temperature, the climate here, your FM, AM, uh, Sirius, whatever you got going on right here, you can select. So you can see the design cues flowing across here, picking up back here, running across there, and there you have it. Let's look at the driver area. Right here, you can see <clears throat> the cluster happening right there. And a lot of readouts there happening. Uh, you've got your fuel gauge on that side, oil here on this side, the mode down here, you can see echo mode is where we are right now. And you can see other readouts right there. Really cool. Let's back away to the steering wheel. Beautiful. Still, you've got the stitching, matching the motif, perforations, sports performance, steering wheel here. Paddle shifters, can't miss with paddle shifters. You get that torque, lots of control there. There's your switcher behind here. The other back there for your lights, okay? Window washers, so forth, and there. Let's look at the middle of the steering wheel. You got your nice chrome design here, Lexus logo in the middle, chrome here, readouts on either side. And as you look down at the bottom, you see the chrome with the F Sport logo right there so that is the driver area by the way you've got your gauges down here where you can see your gas tank trunk open here furthermore with the door you can see that, that red stitching continues to move through here under that mark levinson style design here nice soft leather all right really soft there then you've got the black and red motif here controls here Red stitching really close here. I like the way you open the door here. Watch this. Touch it, and it opens. Just like that. Just touch it, and it's going. Got some storage down there on the door. Got my goobers here. One of my favorites. Yeah. All right. Center storage area has places to store your phone, the USB charger for it. There's your gears and a place to hold two drinks with slick black gloss and stylish leather sets it off perfectly. It's gorgeous. Terrain settings and then terrain settings and then those amazing seats with the F Sport blazoned into the headrest right there. Perforated two-tone red on black with seams on either side of your back shoulder support and beautiful black leather hugging your ribs for those G-forces. Look at the stripe down the middle. It picks up right there where you sit with support for your thighs. Red stitching sets it off right there as well. Here are the settings for your seats down low. The back seats are just as attractive with red leather and black borders on either side. It's stylish. There's space for my legs and headroom. In the middle, here's the pull-out armrest or a place for two drinks. I love the color combination, but you've got other options. Second row air vents and charger ports for your USB and your phone, more storage behind the seats. And as you can see, the second row doors, like the first row, the second row doors, like the first row, are well designed, well organized, beautiful red on black with the stitching and places with nice stitching and more storage down there. You've got your speaker, more storage down there and you've got your speaker system. The back seat up top. You've got your control settings for the sunroof, moonroof, or today it's a rain roof. Lots of space in the back. Look at that. Oh, sorry, take that, scratch that. The cargo area, lots of space in the back. Totally bring lots of space in the back. You can totally bring lots of your stuff along as cargo. So basically you're turning this vehicle from a luxury SUV sports, from a luxury sports utility vehicle to a cargo carrying practical usable vehicle. There's more storage, there's more storage space on either side and places for hooks. Under here you got even more storage. Nice. Now the drive. There's something special about driving a Lexus. I just love it. The NX350F Sport all-wheel drive 
is powered by a 275 horsepower turbocharged 2.4 liter with an 8 speed automatic. Okay, it has all wheel drive, which is standard, and it rips off the 0 to 60 in about 6.4 seconds. Not impressed? Well, I am. Hey, look at this baby. The F Sport trim comes with an adaptive suspension system that firms up and tightens up the ride. It also delivers a bit more poise and confidence. Side trivia, by the way, the Lexus F is short for its flagship Fuji Speedway, the site of Lexus performance vehicle development in Oyama Sunto. Yep. So what else do you get for the F Sport? Adaptive suspension, F Sport performance dampers, pedals, scuff plates, the steering wheel and shifter, selectable drive modes that include Sport S and Custom. The Enhancement Pack 2 adds $6,000 when new. You get the panoramic sunroof, the digital rear view mirror, 17 speaker Mark Levinson sound system, one of the best in the business, semi-autonomous parking assist. Wow, and it goes on and on. All right, I'm gonna kick it into gear a little bit right here. Let's see what I got, open it up. It's so smooth. Not only is it the best design of the NX ever, but it's also the best performing. And that's saying a lot because uh, Lexus is about performance, right? Uh, handling, nice, really good. Nice fat grip on these 20 inch tires. And the steering is pretty loose like I like it. Very responsive. Now that I'm driving it, I see them all over the road but um, the responsiveness, impressive. Pedestrian detection, day or night, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, wow. Blind spot monitoring, which I find extraordinarily helpful, and so much more. Look, the NX350 all-wheel drive F-Sport is a blast. Fun behind the wheel, fun on the streets, spacious and stylish. That's it for this episode, guys. See you next time. Sam use Mary. Educate, learn, talk.